snake a little bit? Don't think that was here! Mimosas, we're doing mimosas. You Normally, know, people save them for brunch. We say screw it. Seventy night, uh, any night is okay for me. What the hell time is it anyway? <laughs> God, it is. It's eleven oh one. Wait, did you know that already? Nah. Sometimes. <laughs> okay. No, we have to explain why we're doing this. I mean, I love to drink really quick too, but okay. Well, there's a all... reason for this. The reason why we're doing this is that we are celebrating two things. The first one is that we're having our first. Guest star, yes, our first guest star. This is Mama Meg. Hello. So, a little bit about Mama Meg. Hello. Mama Meg was my first, well, probably not my first, but my first like true inspiration to push myself to do makeup and do it for the public and do it for myself and just yep. do it on days where I just want to feel pretty. She's the one that introduced me to just be pretty for myself, right? For ourselves, right? Don't look at something pretty in the mirror. If anything, if ever the rest of the world looks horrible, make this beautiful. When you're given a good canvas, though, why not decorate it? The second reason is that our little, our fun little silicone boob challenge has 1,100 views. Woo! It's sometimes small, but it gives us a reason to drink. Yeah, we can justify it. Say we're celebrating. At least we're not drinking because we have nothing to celebrate. Right, and we're not driving either. Exactly. Don't drink or drive. Be safe. Stay home. Play makeup. Makeup and mimosas. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag makeup and mimosas. Makeup and mimosas. Our, our, our goblets. Well, I didn't know where the champagne flutes were. You can trust this. Oh, I hear it. I'm, I'm Remember, not towards the face. That was really anticlimactic. Okay, so ah. jumps and orange juice. Jumps and orange juice. Plus, tis the season. Oh my god, is it like another reason? <gasps> Person number three. <laughs> you got the shivers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because oh, we're mimosas at Mimosas at midnight. Mimosas at midnight. The filming has begun. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Fabulex. So we're here with our special guest, Mama Meg. Hello. We went ahead and snatched our eyebrows really quick because we didn't want to be on camera without our mugs. At least semi-snap. This tutorial is just it's not really a tutorial. It's just kind of us having fun. So I think um, we're, I'm going to be doing my face. She's going to be doing her face and I'm going to be doing it too. So I'm going to be, we're going to be multitasking. We're I'm going to attempt to teach y'all something. If not, you will at least laugh. be teaching her some things as we go. I want to pretend to learn. So for right now, we have her um, base face on and her eyebrows and my eyebrows. Today we use the Dermalogica Intensive Moisture Palette. We introduced her to what a moisturizer was today. Because I'm old, so I use olive oil. I'm lucky I use anything. She's the first person that gets to see the behind the scenes of how much of a mess I am. He's not a mess. He's more together than you think. A little self-depreciating, but... And then for our primer today, I use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. It's like magic, see? Most magic of Hollywood. Hollywood. Filled. Oh my gosh, it's like... It's like the It's like the glasses they put in the Vegas bars, where it just like refills. I've never seen it's that, but i never a half-empty glass. It would never be a mimosa either. Ooh. If they had a perfectly mixed mimosa that shot up like that, I'd be impressed, but no. No. <gasps> not a drop. Thank you, Melinda. I think first I need to catch up to her. Yes. Right now, so I'm gonna put on my face for right now. Maybe you should decide maybe what you want to do for your eyes. Well, that's why I want to leave it to you, but of course. Oh, okay. Well, like I'm using the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Effects Foundation in the color Caramel. That we like moisturize, concealer, then foundation. That's how you can do that. No, no, I know, but if it works, honestly, if the thing is, is that when I think about it, the way you do it, like, it actually makes more sense, because if I do my foundation, and I want everything to match that, mm -hmm. right? So, I mean, it actually makes more sense that way. So, you put powder on before you put foundation and everything else? Yes. Interesting. Sometimes, but I don't put it on, like, under the eye area. Yeah. Because it'll get a little cakey. No one want no cake. Dip, right, dip. <laughs> Hi. We're setting our foundation right now. Um, I am using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Set and Smooth in the color Coconut. Y'all know I love using this stuff. Revlon Color Stay in the light to medium pressed powder. I love this stuff. Yeah, both of us have pressed powder. Just, just on the cheeks like, or just everywhere? Kind of like everywhere. Okay. Kind of like avoiding like the under eye area. Okay, so, so just then, here. Because yeah, then you're going to set it better. But it's kind of like lightly, not too much, but just okay. like <laughs> Nowhere. So it stays. Power goes on the skin or it gets the hose again. <laughs> but you understand, this is the kind of stuff that we used to do anyways before there was even Fabulex right. channel. Yeah. Just to be silly because we want to have fun. We, we were just pretty Fabulex. Yeah, always been fabulous, but this Fabulex just gives us a platform where the rest of y'all can enjoy it. Right, we had to put a label on it for the rest of the world. The only label I accept, just saying. One. <laughs> Alright, so we're baking today. So what are we doing now? Moving on to concealer. So I'm using, let's see, what am I using? I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer in the shade Tan. Usually I'm the shade Tan. And this one is the Revlon Photo Ready. Goes with your foundation. Um, the concealer light to... <coughs> <coughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> hmm. 
And yeah, we're making. That's <laughs> all. No. No. Yeah. Didn't have a loose powder, so what I'm using is a Sacha Buttercup setting powder. It's a loose powder, so we used her um, Nyx Stay Matte powder. So this comes in a uh, compact, so y'all know I love Nyx, love the Stay Matte. Uh, so we actually just kind of beat it up, beat it up, and crumpled it up. So now it's a nice, fine powder we're going to use that to bake with. So y'all, if you don't have something to bake with and it's pressed, kill it. Beat use what face, you have. Beat that powder. Yeah. We're going to put it under the eye. Kind of taking a little bit more to, like, get product on this dough foot. So we're going to be contouring today using the Studio Pro Contour Kit from BH Cosmetics. I'll be using the dark chocolate shades for moi, and you know. The non-dark chocolate the shades. The non-dark, slightly mocha tone color. For you! Yeah. I'll take it right where I want it to start, right mm -hmm. where I want the product to be, and I blend up. Oh, okay. Right, so I'm blending it up towards the ear, and then sometimes you take the extra stuff, and I always like to do it underneath. Underneath the roles has switched. She's the one that used to teach me how to do different makeup things and different things that she had in her makeup bag. For real things too. The teachers become the student. I still the remember. Students become the master. <laughs> I still remember when I saw uh, her makeup bag for the first time. It was like, <laughs> the little yellow bag that you have. Oh, check my makeup bag. Find whatever you want in there and play with it. And I was like, makeup bag. What is this? <laughs> what is this witchcraft? <laughs> Six different mascaras in there, like all kinds I'm of blushes, and I was like. It was like the lights open. Oh. What? She blended. I'm gonna go ahead and put mine on. This is super fun. I love doing makeup with you. It's just like old time. <sighs> oh, that's such a better straight nose than last time. <laughs> I love Dot, and you look so fierce. <gasps> Like everything is just lined up with like the the. I was like, and everything. Oh my God. like, all I did was had lip gloss on and the eyebrows. There's nothing other like makeup on. <laughs> Sometimes you don't even need that. You just need to be snatched around the coconut here. So far, so for my bronzer today, I'm gonna be mixing the NYX matte bronzer, and I know this is gonna be totally contradictory. Why? Wait, contradictory. This is gonna be totally contradictory. Contradictory. Is a, yeah. Contradictory. contradictory. Oh, yeah. Then I was right. So anyway, I'm taking the NYX matte bronzer and I'm going to be mixing it with the uh, Makeup Revolution Vivid bronzer. And this one has a little bit more shimmer. I just kind of want a little bit of glow, but I like the color from this because it's nice and soft and this one doesn't really have a color. It's more for the uh, shimmer. I need Morphe brushes. Come through Morphe. We're definitely listening to uh, some Empire soundtracks right now. That was another thing we used to do. Aside from makeup, we used to um, hang out in her room and watch uh, reality shows and different things <laughs> and just comment on them and just She's make reactions and stuff. Much. Then, we, then Bravo yeah, stole the show and they called it The People's Couch. The song. Yes. You look good. Look at my body, look at my body, look at my body. Harry and so no. A giant beak on my face. Don't touch me. That's what contour's for. Right? Contour Don't that shit. Me. Contour the beak. Mm. Ooh, when I started saying that. I contour the beak. Because I used to think my nose was beak like. Mm -mm. No? So we're all nice and contoured right now. Baked to high heaven. Call us muffins. Muffin. <laughs> Muffin. So now we're gonna move on to her eyes. Eyeballs. I'm gonna be doing some natural eyes on her right now. Brown, some glitter, some whatever the hell comes out of these One brushes. Hours. Or like a base. Oh. Like a little stickiness. Mm-hmm. So you start with the primer to kind of like moist, moisten. I hate that word. Yeah. Uh, to give it something, the surface area to stick to. Yes. Like yes, exactly. Give it a little stuff to stick to. So this is kind of like helps with the pigments a little bit. Sealer or a okay. base, a little something creamy um, to go right, on top. I didn't put anything on top. Yes, because that okay. way it cancels out any kind of like lines, redness right. you have on your eyes. Any kind of put this all over the eyelid. And then once I get this down, then it'll just be like, next when we go out, we'll turn these on. Exactly. Dance, we're gonna make a model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm using my Morphe 35 and matte palette. I did do a look on my channel on how to use this. I can link it in the description box below. They feel luxurious. Like I feel I'm like, oh, fancy smash. Then like the eye area underneath the eyes are mm -hmm. kind of like moist areas that yeah. are naturally wet. And you put creams on them, always put powders on to set. Otherwise you're just gonna okay. be even wetter. See which wet is my eyes, I was like, fuck mm -hmm. my eyes. Right. Like little voices, because I, I would yeah. go like across across the whole V. Is it just little, little, little? I, that's just my technique, okay. but you could you definitely, some people can, it depends on what your eye shape is. Okay. With your eye shape, you can definitely do like the back and forth because you have the nice rounded eye, but since I have kind of more slanted eyes, I kind of have to do like the buff got it. and kind of upward motion. Well, yeah, I was going to say, you said you know when you got to stop. Okay, I think I'm yeah. good there. Depends got on it. how much real estate you got on top. I'm going to go ahead and go on top with this rusty orange color right here. I love this color. I don't know why, but we're going to brighten up that brown a little bit more. But actually, when you are not use too much black, so I'm going to use a little bit of the black just to deepen it up a little bit. So this black, this dark brown. 
And then what we're going to do is go back in with the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush and go back in with the first brown and a little bit of the rustic uh, color and blend out that black. We're just going to like kind of buff those colors around. I'm not going to blend it out too much because you don't want to lose the black. So look good news, we get to debut the Full Spectrum Palette from Urban Decay. Woot woot! Super excited. I got this in my Ulta haul. Yeah, I like it because it's just pretty on the outside even. It's gorgeous on the inside. Look at that. It's even prettier. Yeah. So in this palette, we're going to use the color Iced. It's a nice shimmery gray. I probably can't. This is really nice metallic shimmery. It's like, oh my gosh, it's like paint. I was saying, it's a little creamy. It's very, very creamy, very pigmented. Because sometimes I have creamies and they crumble. Crumble creamy is just not a good creamy. No. Ooh. Yes! I'm using the Urban K Electric Palette and the Color Revolt. A little bit more shimmer Wait. of silver. This one's very, very um, reflective. Yes! Kind of calls more attention to that gray on the eyeshadow. Just a little bit of glitter. I like it a lot. On top with eyeliner, this is the Voluminous Super Star Liner. That stuff is amazing. It is it's amazing. It's thick and then thin. It's yes. pretty damn It's very thick, very thin, all the way to the tip. I think that's when we're at the festival where we switched our makeup. Is this probably yours then? Right now we are doing some um, finishing up touches, some highlights, some underneath the mm -hmm. lash line stuff. I just kind of did her eyes and liner and then did my eyes and liner. Some green, mm -hmm. some silver on her. She finished up her face. I'm going to do my you never lash be all dressed up. Nowhere to go. Wait, right? Nobody to see. Again, it doesn't matter, but it's way more fun with other people to enjoy the beauty. I'm loving this green out of this palette. But yeah. You know, I was like, that. it's actually almost like the same color as my top of my great lash. Good old green and pink great lash. Love this shit. I think this is my very first mascara when I was younger. Yeah. I think it's a lot of people's very first mascara. That one and the uh, the green and pink, the lime green and pink too. Oh, because I'm talking. Ah, oh, I didn't even see the green, the pink too. Yep, it was a little. My sister had it, and I saw it on the counter in, in the bathroom, and I saw her use it all the time, and I love to mimic her, so I put it on myself, not knowing what the hell it was, just doing the same thing she did. Yeah. And I walked out, and my sister's like, "Do you have a black eye?" And I'm like, "No." <laughs> So, see, obviously your makeup skills have greatly yeah. improved. She never left it on the counter again after that. I appreciate you starting that curiosity because our friendship is building growing over there. Plus stop. And I'm not doing lashes today, not fake lashes. They ain't got time for that. I've always wondered if we're going to do that. Like Next time. A few moments later. Moving on to a highlight and blush and lips. And we're about done. Our blush is from the Morphe palette. Lots of colors in here for both her and I. Eagle That's my very brush. first brush. <laughs> but I was all, you can do everything, little brush. Smile. Let's see the apples. Smile, damn it! <laughs> Just a little dab. We're gonna make her glow to the gods, honey. Carly by Bell palette. This is 10 eyeshadow and 4 highlight palette. Bye! Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. And you see it adds a nice, mm -hmm. nice little glow. The whole pirate festival pictures and I'm making totals. I have five use a lipstick and then we're good. Did you push pause already or no? Oh, uh, shit, that's so rude. <laughs> it's fine. Where did I have setting spray? Um, you know, I use a Pure Bliss makeup setting spray. She uses in ColourPop. Color. This is R&B. Nice, like, plum. And then I'm using Beauty Mark by NYX, the liquid lingerie, and uh, something by Essence. Nude candy. It's a lip gloss. Yeah. Gosh. So that's the Zen deal. I think we're done. It's fabulous, girl. Mama Mae. Zane, my fabulous. Yeah. It's so I'm, I'm so glad so, you're here. I'm so glad that we got to do this. Yeah. It's like old times. Now we just need to do it more often. Oh my god, all the time. So, um, oh, as, 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 as we have to do I know we're on nightmare. Not right here. <laughs> just, you know, quick glamour shots. Ready? Go. Pose, whatever it is. I you have no clue we look in the camera, but I know we look damn good, so don't really matter. I know, is there we can't look at the camera? We're looking at each other. Just kidding. Right. Show the lids. Pick it back up then you fall on your back. Back to the cat 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 boom and shaka cat 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 shawam boom. Thank you all so much for watching Fabulex and thank you Mama Meg for joining me. Thanks Abby, um, hope to see you guys next time. We'll be back again and you know stay tuned for more from Fabulex Makeup. Check out my other tutorials. Subscribe if you like our mugs and stay beautiful inside and out. Tell your friends. Yes, yeah, tell your mamas, tell your wives, tell your husbands, tell your kids. <laughs> much love. <laughs> You gotta do that. One, two, three. Hey. <laughs> Look at her pretend to learn. I'm gonna go on with this kind of like rusty. <coughs> <It's> like... <laughs> what the hell is that called? No clue. Oh my god. Oh no, I'm down for it. What are you doing? I'm down for it. Grind up. Oh yeah, yeah. Really? You could her. I was like, it starts with a C or a G. Really? G g g grind grinder. Grinder, like. <laughs>